And with regard to this uh, dicotleaf and case of monocotleaf, in case of the dicotleaf, it is externally as well as internally differentiated. How it is externally, internally differentiated? Externally, upper surface, it is dark green. Lower surface, it is light green. And internally, upper surface towards upper epidermis, it is having palisade, lower having spongy. So, externally and internally it is differentiated, it is dicot leaf, bifacial leaf, otherwise what do you call differentiated leaf. In contrast to this monocot leaf, it is not differentiated, undifferentiated leaf. Externally as well as what it is, internally it is undifferentiated. Unifacial leaf, monocot leaf, undifferentiated leaf. Bifacial leaf, differentiated leaf, dicot leaf. And dicot leaf, the inclination, the arrangement of the leaf, it is oblique. So, upper surface receives more light. In case of the monocot, it is vertical, otherwise it is hanging. The margins receives where it is much light. You go in for the TS of what it is, the leaves, dicot and monocot leaf. Both leaves having upper epidermis and lower epidermis. As it is a flat appendage, we do expect upper and a lower epidermis. If it is a cylindrical appendage, there is no presence of upper and lower epidermis. So, dicot and monocot leaf have flat surfaces having upper epidermis, lower epidermis. Upper epidermis, it is called adaxial epidermis. Lower, it is called abaxial epidermis. Adaxial upper. Abaxial, it is lower. And in case of the dicot leaf, more number of stomata present in abaxial. Few number of stomata or no stomata in case of what it is adaxial. And in case of the monocot leaf and both epidermis, equal number of stomata present. So, it is amphistomatous equal type in case of monocot. So, in this it is and both epidermis, lower epidermis, more stomata, upper it is a few having varitis, number of varitis stomata. And in case of the dicot leaf, the upper epidermis and lower epidermis single layered, compactly present without intercellular spaces, the cells which are rectangular. Walls are cutinized and forms a layer it is called cuticle. So, adaxial epidermis, abaxial epidermis. And it is having multicellular uniseriate trichomes on both upper as well as lower epidermis. And in lower epidermis, stomata opens into the wider intercellular space of what it is, spongy tissue, what do you call substomatal cavity or substomatal chamber. In case of mesophyll, the chlorenchymatous tissue in the leaf in between upper and lower epidermis, what do you call it is mesophyll. Mesophyll towards upper epidermis, it is palisade, lower it is what it is, spongy tissue. And palisade having more number of the chloroplast along the margins and it is having very narrow intercellular spaces. Primarily concerned with only it is photosynthesis, palisade. So, the palisade is right angle to what it is upper epidermis. So, palisade towards adaxial, towards lower it is abaxial spongy tissue having wider intercellular spaces. That wider intercellular spaces near to lower epidermis stomatal vicinity, what do you call it is substomatal cavity or substomatal chamber. So, this spongy tissue primarily concerned with the gases exchange apart from photosynthesis. So, secondary function is going to be photosynthesis. And vascular bundles, the veins are nothing but vascular bundle. In case of the dicot leaf, veins differ in thickness, base thick, apex it is very thin and lateral veins it is thin. So, different 
vascular bundles variation in case of the size as well as thickness because of what it is reticulate variation base proximal large thick vascular bundle distal thin and small vascular bundle and these veins provide mechanical strength and conduction of water and mineral how it provide mechanical strength because nothing but xylem and phloem xylem having what it is lignified wall provide mechanical strength and conduction of water minerals and food material xylem facing upper epidermis adaxial phloem what it is abaxial and it is surrounded by bundle sheath that is parenchymatous and extension of the bundle sheath towards upper as well as lower epidermis what do you call bundle sheath extension it may be parenchymatous or collenchymatous so vascular bundles are collateral conjoint closed vascular bundle in case of what it is dicot leaf